good morning everybody from Ninoy Aquino International Airport or shortly saying it uh, Manila Airport and yeah basically guys if you have watched the last video well we are talking about why I'm leaving the Philippines and all this stuff you would know why I'm here and first of all I would like to say that I'm starving I'm literally so hungry what's that? chicharron you, you want some chicharron right now? Wow. Maybe no. How much is that? I'm not, I'm not living for Philippines. I, I miss already chicharron. Yeah, true. Oh. No, but in Spain we have also chicharron. So yeah, but don't mind. This is more masara. The Filipino ones are all. Yeah. 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 Oh. Anyways, everybody. Uh, maybe we're not gonna search for a snack. Maybe for a ramen bowl or something more consistent. Because as I told you, we are starving so bad. We are here since 1 p.m., 2 p.m. and has passed already like two or three hours. So, so I guess we're gonna just spend some hours in here because we have our flight like in 6 p.m., 45, something like that. So, I guess we're gonna just be roaming around, watching restaurants and eating stuff because there's nothing much to do, honestly. Tell me, what's gonna be our first destination? After Manila, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Uh -huh. It's the first time we're arriving in Abu Dhabi. Uh, the last time was Qatar. Doha, all right. Doha, the capital of Qatar. Yeah. And now it's gonna be uh, a different place. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. I think the airport is pretty small, right? I want to see Tom Cruise. Girl. Tom Cruise, right? For the people who don't know it, Tom Cruise just film a scene of a movie right there in Abu Dhabi. The last time uh, of uh, Mission Impossible. Oh yeah, a scene of Mission Impossible. Uh -huh. Pretty interesting, pretty good to know. Uh, I'm excited, but I think it's kind of worse than the Dubai airport. Airport, <laughs> airport. Anyways, after that, we have to wait like some hours in Abu Dhabi, and later we're just gonna move to Milan. All right, we're gonna be in Italy for a couple of hours, and finally we're gonna take a two-hour flight to Madrid. So yeah, basically I just saw a Japanese restaurant here in the corner. So I guess we're gonna take some ramen or some rice with something. Uh, it's the only thing that I'm craving right now because I don't want to eat in Kenny Rogers or stuff like that. So, yeah, let's see the restaurant. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Here we have it some um, tonkatsu curry. Uh, it's pretty nice, the plate, actually. We have some of the rice, some tonkatsu in there. All right. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna just try the curry. I don't know if it's gonna be it's so spicy, so let's get it. Let's try. It's not spicy at all, right? It's like. So powerful the taste of curry, but it's not spicy. It's so good. You want to try? Yeah, throw it. No, no, no. Let's gonna enjoy this curry, guys, and let's see later. So everybody, uh, the moment is just approaching little by little, here we are, here's the plane, what do you think about the plane? It's pretty huge, right? <laughs> we are bored as hell, uh, we're gonna be waiting here two hours and I don't know what we're going to do. It's the time boys, it's the time, we're about to get on the plane. The time of the time? Yes, in about uh, less than an hour, we're gonna just fly to Abu Dhabi so yeah we're gonna go now to the plane and take seat is I are you excited yeah how you feel look the Emirate damn the Emirate, the Emirate one is, is about the, to fly now it's the best plane plane anyways that they had it's a good it's a good plane also we're not gonna complain about it yeah both are very good companies so I can't complain about the plane Oof. I'm getting nervous guys <laughs> because we just saw that one little plane was starting to fly and it was very fast so we are now a little bit scared but I think this Boeing the big ones are not gonna go that fast anyways let's hope the the fly and everything is gonna be good and we arrive safe the let the, the plane in the hand of God yeah let's gonna give the plane in the hands of God uh, God, don't be bad, bro. I want to eat something in Abu Dhabi. Not today. <laughs> Book as puede, but not today. I feel my stomach different. How do you feel stomach? Eat chocolate. I, 
for each no, chocolate. No, not right now, not right now. We'll eat a lot of chocolate for you. I think it was a bad idea, <laughs> to be honest. Now if we eat something, I'm gonna... No, no, no more, no more. No more chocolate? In the plane, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Let's see guys, I think we're... Uh, that's the door for the plane. Hello! How are you? Welcome on board. Oh. This is not the one. May I check the other one? Uh, yeah, here it is. It's fine. I say, everyone, welcome on board, sir. Salam out. Thank you so please. much. Thank you. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh. Welcome to my world. It's been like two years since the last time we, we were in a plane. It's so weird. like a plane anymore you feel like a bus like a long ride bus <laughs> all right there you go the luggage is just in there i think this little screens are a little bit old not to offense ever uh, anyone right like it seems a little bit old you see the monday i don't know if it's working Hostia. what's that for Mando? Sí, pero ¿para qué? How are? Uh, oh. What the hell is this? Cold ground. Oh, you can call? It's not working. Like, I don't understand why this ice cream is working and mine is not. And I want to show you guys this. This is the best invent I ever saw in my life. Like, my half has one that is black, but it's so simple, like mine. Has this, like, like a little coat for the head. It's so nice. Alright guys, so we have the food on the plane. Uh, we have three options, like chicken with rice, fish with rice and some pasta. Uh, yeah, so all of us just took some chicken with rice and we have some side dishes. We have some pasta with some veggies and some cheese, I believe. This is gonna be the dessert. I don't really know what it's like, uh, ice cream or a mousse, I don't know. But I think it has mango on top because it's so cold. I think it's an ice cream. And we have some bread with some butter. And the main dish is gonna be this. All right, there you go. Some delicious chicken with rice with some veggies. Uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much actually done. Looks pretty simple, but for sure it's gonna be so good. We never tried the food of uh, Etihad Airlines, but for the moment, looks pretty nice. Looks decent. Wow, that's pretty good, though. No? Good, uh, good taste, good texture, actually. It melts in your mouth. Wow. wow. The only thing I could say the veggies don't have too much salt they have no flavor the chicken is okay and the rice is just plain rice so I can not say nothing about that so we're gonna try the side dish some pasta with cheese and veggies I'm gonna give it a go it's sweet mm. it's not sweet but mm. I like the chicken how's the chicken the cheese it's spicy it's spicy it's not spicy but the cheese is so good. Mm. Actually, quite refreshing, no? With all this food. Um, yeah, we have also the dessert, but we're gonna leave it for later. I mean, I just flew before to go to Qatar and then to the Philippines. I didn't use the bathroom, so it's the first time. I was always so curious about how is the bathroom. So yeah, everybody, uh, yeah, let's gonna try how is the force of the airplane platform. Holy shit! That shit is crazy! That was the first yeah. 
Habibi come to Dubai. Well, we're not exactly in Dubai, but next to it, we're in Abu Dhabi. Habibi, come to Abu Dhabi. Now you are in your territory, you look like Arab. It's the first time that we are in Saudi Arabia. These cities are just like Madrid and Barcelona. Both are beautiful cities, but just different there. A little bit close. So quiet. Yeah, it's that's what so, I wanted so to say. So quiet, I don't know why. Like there's a lot of people, but it's so quiet. It's so weird, mm -hmm. and it's so clean as well. It's very clean already. Yeah, just look at that, guys. Look, that one has oh, has the skills, huh? has the skills to drive. It's like a little cabin where all the people is smoking. Oh. Wow. You see? You can smoke vape, cigarettes, whatever you want inside. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be exactly like the Doha airport, like you have a worker in every corner, even in the bathroom or something. I think we're gonna just stay one hour and something or two hours as maximum for another uh, airplane. Because when we entered, it was so quiet. I thought there was no people, but it's so crowded. Like It's weird, it's so crowded, but it's, it's quiet at the same time. So Habibi, we're in Abu Dhabi in the airport. Actually, it looks pretty, pretty nice, no? What pretty... different is from Philippines, look. Yeah, from the, the Manila airport. I don't airport. see the Dior, I don't see Chanel, <laughs> I don't see the, the brand of yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, it's another level, but seeing this, I don't know what's better, the Doha one or this one, actually. What do you think that? I think it's... This one, I think it's a little better. A little bit? So much better. <laughs> so much better, right? Yeah. Learning Arabic little by little. For the moment, I only know to say shukran, but in the future, maybe it's gonna be more. Dad, you, you ah. look more Arabic. Habibi, teach me, habibi. teach me Arabic. <laughs> habibi, habibi. Sefer, sefer. What's sefer? Que coño es esto? He's inventing words. He means Kalamba. Dad, we're gonna make the question that we always make. What was better, Kalamba or Abu Dhabi? Kalamba. We have the comparison. In Doha, we found a camel as well, but it was smaller. This one is the real camel. Just look at that. Wow, the ne the yeah, the legs are made with gold a little bit in there. They are painted in gold. Doha, Abu Dhabi. Have a little mugs. Así se llama las tazas, mugs. Wow, look at that. Wow, yeah. que bonito. Yeah, but we found this little wallet, okay, with the symbol of the camel. The only problem is that it's 79 of the oh, no. of the currency of here. I don't know how to convert that into euros or something. So I don't You're know. You ask someone. How, how much is in dollars? Puede, can I pay? You are Filipino. Yeah. Oh, Filipino. Can you pay in euro? Oh, oh. Can you pay euro? Oh, oh. Can you pay in euro? Paketo euro. Yeah, 105, I think. Yeah, 105. 28, uh, 28. 28 euros. 28 euros. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. I, I smell <laughs> a bottle. Don't lie. Don't lie. Oh my god. Smell Camilla. Smell. Is this camel? Yes, yeah, smell. smell. I never smelled that camel. <laughs> no, but it's weird. It's weird. No, smell. I never smelled that camel. Yeah, I smell it. I want to buy this. Okay. Okay. But it's going to be for me, okay? No, for it's me. It's my wallet. Why is it going to be for me? No, why? Why is it going to be for me? Why? Curry pot. <laughs> <laughs> my dad and I were fighting for the wallet because it's 28 euros one wallet but it's pure made with camel skin yeah it smell eh? believe me yeah I, I didn't smell a camel in my huh? life I, yeah, I think so. this we're gonna buy it but this this one or no this is for me this color yeah I like the camel it was the first time I see a wallet made with camel skin so yeah guys, I just made a quick uh, visit to the bathroom and I'm a little bit impressed with some things I want to tell you. The first thing I would like to mention is that it's very clean, of course, it's very organized. And uh, there are like two or three guys like guiding you on every part of the bathroom. And yeah, they're very kind actually. And the nice part is that we have a lot of bags and a lot of stuff with us. And the guy just told us, you can leave it there in the stand and nobody's gonna take it, like perfectly safe. And for me, that I came from a country that the people always is telling you like be careful with your things, you have to be careful with where you leave them or stuff like that because you know Spain, even right now, is not the safest country in the world. There's a lot of people stolen things. So I was quite impressed with that. Like 
he just told me, okay, leave the box there, it's no problem, I'm just gonna watch it, or if, if he doesn't watch it, like, it's no problem, nobody's gonna stall it. So that's a very, very, very good point for the Saudi Arabia in general and for the Abu Dhabi airport. And yeah, I like this so much. A lot of safety, man, it's so clean and so nice. I like it. This is the future, Dad. Wow, I look like a... Um, I am a, My man, a this, resort. <laughs> this a is resort. you don't find them in Manila's airport, huh? I need a pool here, piscina. Yeah, you need a table of sushi here next to you. Sushi barbecue here. Oh, oh, barbecue. But I sit there. This sits in an airport, it's just crazy. So like here you can lay down and stay chill just for hours. <laughs> if you can stay in this church, you can stay for <laughs> hours, no problem. <laughs> the buy side, Talaga. You can stay in this church the hours you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna wait the next one. Go so guys. Next time. Because it's leaving in just minutes, so maybe we'll have to board right now. Guys, I want to show you something that just shocked me, but in a good way. You can see all these seats. They look just like normal seats. But all of this has something in common. Is that it, the first seat that you can find in this line is for uh, pregnant women and old men. And I'm saying that, that is very intelligent. I like this system so much. And this is made just because uh, for the pregnant woman or for the old people who are sitting here to not disturb anyone when they are uh, just uh, standing up and stuff so it's pretty intelligent, very respectful for the people who has this type of things you know, who's pregnant or whatever so I think we have to take this as a model and I think it's a very very nice idea very nice concept that all around the world should be like that so I like this concept so much guys who say the Arabic people disrespect the old people or the women or whatever? <coughs> like seeing, seeing this, I don't think so. Like they are respect. If they prove. Yeah, they prove they it right prove now. It, the woman respect for for women. Yeah, I'm really happy to see all of this in the airport, guys. So yeah, cheers to my Arabic people and so grateful to see this. Yes. Uh, anyways, guys, we're gonna take the plane in a few moments. So see you in Milan, guys. Buongiorno everybody from Milan, Italy Guys, I'm not gonna lie It's freezing cold It's like 3 Celsius degrees outside And Man, I just experienced a little bit of cold from my window And I'm not, come on, I'm not used to that anymore Since I was like one year and a half in the Philippines I don't, I'm not used to the cold weather anymore So what do you think that of the weather here? Wow So cold, huh? Yeah, because it's uh, quickly changed, not the, cli the climate. The climate, yeah. It's quickly, quickly changed. There's a lot of fog outside. We are ready. This is the transit, but it's completely empty. It's weird. We have one more flight. Uh, it's just here inside the continent, so it's gonna be like two hours, all right, from Milan to Madrid. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's the small one, but I hope it's not gonna be the worst because with this climate that is not the best one and you know with the small airplanes you can feel everything the much much more than the bigger ones i hope it's not gonna be the worst one so oh let's see God. guys bienvenidos a italia ragazzi and of course if we are in milan we cannot leave without trying the famous pizza we have a pizza margareta right here the original one and of course a cappuccino decide what you have this side has uh, another cappuccino and the pizza, I don't remember the name. Focaccia rabese or rebese, I don't know. I am not sure. It's just focaccia. It's the pizza with some toppings on top. And my father had wow. the original one, the focaccia al olio, I believe is the name, with yeah. olive oil and some spices it's on top. It's crunchy, huh? Ah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's crunchy as hell. I'm, ex I'm excited to try mine. Actually, it's just like uh, six euros, seven euros, yeah. and the pieces are pretty huge. Just look at that, yeah. guys. For you to compare it, it's just bigger than my head. So let's gonna try out the authentic pizza margareta from Italy, from Milan. Let's gonna give a bite. Wow. Wait, the cheese is sticking in the pan. Oh. Wow. Just check this out, guys. It's a little bit oil in there, not too much and you can see that it's really really fresh Ooh, the smell is 
incredible eh? wow wow eh? yeah. wow tomato the tomato has a smell and the flavor of tomato is yeah. incredible let's gonna give a bite guys <laughs> wow no fucking way there's no way did you hear that crunch and the cheese is just melting apart mm, and you're right the tomatoes the are tomatoes. very good wow usually the people say that in italy the tomatoes are very acid and very sour this one are not but it's the perfect point i mean wow and we have some basil on top as well wow this is probably the most original and the most uh, unique pizza in italy the margarita okay is the i think is the first one that it was made in italy so i'm pretty glad that i finally tried it in milan instead uh, wow man this is delicious i can't believe it and now i want your opinion ragazzi mios my friends because this for six seven euros that it could be in filipino pesos around 300 350 i don't know tell me in in the comments your opinion it's a good price for the quantity of pizza for the quality as well because all the ingredients are just unbelievable the mass is crunchy uh, i just want to know your opinion about it because the pizza for me is incredible but leave your opinion guys yeah before trying the cappuccino instead we're gonna just put a little bit of sugar all right there you go italian cappuccino there's a lot of um, foam on top so i'm gonna just take it with the spoon you drink the cappuccino like that right no, firstly you take the foam with the spoon and later you drink the main the main coffee man it's so good actually at least the foam it's so good mm. that's a good coffee right there pretty hot for the bad weather the cold weather that it's outside we are like three degrees celsius outside so i guess this is the perfect match uh, for these it's days it's maginao it's malamig outside you cannot Ma even sobran. imagine yeah sovran because in the philippines of course there's cold places but not as much as this this is just another level because it's europe but what i'm gonna tell you guys that you don't know anyways as i said this coffee is just perfect for this temperature uh, for this climate and i can't complain about anything my friends i'm just gonna enjoy this pizza and we are gonna see in madrid well everybody finally we could say we're back home again <laughs> we're destroyed to be honest with you guys we're completely destroyed and the only thing i want now is a bed and to sleep like 24 hours straight yeah i don't know guys like i slept a little bit on the plane while we were going to abu dhabi and stuff but it's not enough like the change of the horaries and stuff is so tiring so yeah well so everybody i think it's just time to go home take some rest and of course stay tuned to the next videos that are gonna be crazy i'm gonna show you a lot of the culture here in spain the food and everything so hope you like it guys so see you in the next bye